In this video tutorial, I would like to walk you through the main functionalities available in the Lido eRoute Manual version 4.3 EnRoute module. On the EnRoute map, you can use standard tablet gestures to zoom and pan the map, and if you're using a mouse, you can zoom, use the zoom buttons located in the top toolbar and pan your map using standard drag actions. If your aircraft position is made available to Lido eRoute Manual, you can toggle between the free pan mode and the auto recenter mode using the recenter button. When I engage the recenter, is that the end map will recenter around your aircraft position. And when you drag the map, upon letting go of the panning action, then the map will recenter around the aircraft position. The next feature is the alternate projection button. Depending on your latitude, different map projections may be available indicated by the alternate projection button, allowing you to toggle between Polar and Lambert and Lambert and Mercator projections. Next is the Get Distance button, which allows you to measure the initial true track and great circle distance between two selected points on the map. In the Layers menu, the plot polygon function allows the pilot to turn on or off the visibility of sigmets, which can be created by the pilot or uploaded by the airline to eRoute Manual. To create a user-defined sigmet, simply select Add Polygon and then define a color and a name. Then select the vertices making up the shape. They can be geographical coordinates, nav aids, waypoints, or airports, but not airways. Let's select the following. Optionally, you can define the wind arrow to be displayed by selecting the arrow button, then enter the geographical coordinates of the starting point and the ending point of the arrow. Always confirm your selection by selecting the accept button. The created polygon appears in the list and it can be displayed using the layer button weather on the bottom. If your airline has defined escape routes, these can be graphically overlaid on top of the enroute map by selecting the escape route layer button. Additionally, textual information defined by your airline in HTML can be displayed as a subchart by going to the Layers button and selecting Escape Route and the corresponding file. The information described and defined by your airline will then be shown in the subchart. In the search menu, you can search for objects on the Enroute map by selecting their type. They can be either airports, airways or fixes. If I look for the airway Upper Lima 10 and select it from the list, the Enroute map will then zoom and pan and highlight the found object directly on the map. Next is the new nearest airport functionality available in the search menu. Selecting this option displays a list of available airports in the vicinity of your aircraft position. If no aircraft position is available to Lido eRoute manual, select a point on the map. This list can be filtered out to show only those airports available in the airport coverage selected by your airline by selecting the In Library Only function. Selecting an airport from the list allows you to view the AFC chart for this airport, AFC minima, and add this airport to your clip as an alternate in one click. To obtain further information about any object on the Enroute map, use the Attribute Lookup functionality which is available from the search menu or directly by double-clicking on the map. If an airport lies in the vicinity of where you click, detailed information about this airport will be directly shown. And if this airport is in the coverage selected by your airline, you will be able to view its AFC chart, AFC minima, and add it to your clip. Go back to view other objects which lie in the vicinity of where you clicked and select one from the list and accept to get additional information. The same workflow applies if you would like to gather additional information about communication regions, FIRs or warning areas by selecting the COM tab and choosing an item from the list to get its additional information.